This is Artifacts of Mars. And fresh from the heels of the uh, Confederate flag being banned, there's another story about another symbol which uh, is on the chopping block. The symbol's name is the Fleur de Lis, or however you pronounce it. Uh, you can see it on the helmets of the New Orleans Saints, for example. So that team's on the chopping block. Uh, a couple of historians here in this article. Historian Dr. Ibrahima Sack is a African historian. He's not American. I heard him in the video. And you have uh, see if I, Terrence Fitzsim Fitzmorris, who's a Tulane history professor, and when they, well, they say they're not for banning it, but uh, I know how these people work. They want to ban it, believe me. They're going to act all fuzzy wuzzy at first, and eventually they're going to work on getting this banned. I've told you people, we've got to f stand up and fight these sons of bitches. These are fascists. Nothing more. I'll do a little reading about the symbol. The Black Hole was a set of regulations adopted in Louisiana from 1724 from other French colonies around the world meant to govern the slaves, state slave population, sex said. Those rules included branding slaves with the Fleur de Lis as punishment for running away. You'd be taken before a court and sons would be branded on one shoulder and with a Fleur de Lis, then they would crap their ears. Sex on a, a slave ran away a second time, he or she would be branded again, but with another brutality added, their hamstrings would be caught. Yeah, that would... Uh, Make it for a very efficient worker. Wouldn't be able to walk. To him, this symbol only brings sad thoughts. As an African, I find it painful when I think people whose ancestors were enslaved here may feel it even harder than I do as an African sect said. Tulane history professor Terence Fitzmorris says the Fleur de Lis has its roots in French Revolution and similar other symbols was used as mark of supremacy. You don't need to see nothing else, folks. The bottom line is they want to ban it. Uh, I've said they're not going to stop with the Confederate flag. They've banned the Dukes of Hazard and everything that goes along with that. They've banned the Confederate flag. They're not going to stop. There's a, uh, I think he's from New York City. There's a New York, yeah, he is. I have an article somewhere. There's a New York film critic who wants to ban Gone with the Wind. Not that anybody ever plays it on TV anymore, but he wants to ban it. They're not going to stop. These are evil people. Their rhetoric is identical to that of the Nazis. Nazis destroyed Jew Jewish culture, now didn't they? They went after Jews. They went after everything new with Jews. Jews were a scapegoat. Whites in this culture are a scapegoat. Only it's not... Uh, well, I'm not blaming black people, yellow people, or anything. I'm blaming fascists. Plain and simple, they're fascists no matter what their skin color is. This isn't about skin color. This is about evil. I can't believe this is happening. So imagine you're uh, New Orleans Saints down in the field... Of course, they'll have to change their names. I don't know what to.
Maybe we can change them from <laughs> New Orleans blanks. I don't know. People, this is an old Louisiana for anyone who is historically challenged. In other words, you don't know. Louisiana was a colony, a French colony that was bought from them by the Americans in the Louisiana Purchase. This is just an old cultural symbol. No one's branding anyone with it anymore. These, pe these scum are not going to stop until all white European culture is erased from this country, and then they're going to come after you. Start loading you into uh, trucks. If they're not stopped, you know, they're breaking out the cattle cars, I'm sure. You've got to wake up. These are fascists. They are evil. They're coming after you. They're coming after your culture. They're coming after you, ultimately. If, and I'll tell you another thing, if you're a white, if you're a person of color, I don't care if you're black, you are all red, whatever. You think you're safe? Wrong. Absolutely wrong. You are not safe. Uh, the people of Germany, and I'm talking white people of Germany, they were not safe. It's just utterly ludicrous uh, to think that you're going to be safe in the, in the totalitarian state that these scumbags want to create. If I'm not mistaken, Tulane is one of those Ivy League schools. There's fascism and communism all through them. They're no longer schools. They're just indoctrination sta uh, stations. Wake up, people. Get off your butts. Drop your cocks and grab your socks because we have to stand up against this. We have to tell these people, no, you are not going to do this. You're not going to erase our culture. We will fight you. One way or the other, we will fight them. We have to. Otherwise, you ain't going to have no place to live except behind barbed wire. Duh. Jeepers, you Americans, just look at some of these movies, just watch some of these movies about the Nazis and the prison camps. That's your future if you don't wake up. Speak out, tell these scumbags, no, you're not going to do this. Leave the country if you don't like it, in the subject. I'm artifacts of Mars. I am fucking mad. I'm madder in hell about this. I didn't want to take the time to do a video, but I felt it was necessary. I'm artifacts of Mars. Get off your butts. Grab, drop your cocks and grab your socks. Because we got some serious problems. They're going to act all nice and fuzzy and friendly at first. But eventually they're going to try to ban this. Mark my words. I'm Artifacts of Mars.